Hey guys, it's Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing my solar array. Um, just wanted to go over what I got, how it works, and as you can tell by these 12 big old batteries, the runtime I get. So, anyway, my entertainment system in the basement, all my classic video games, run purely off of the inverters or the solar. I have two inverters, uh, that right here. This is just a battery charger. Um, I'll go into that later. And this is just a 750 watt inverter. And then I have a larger, uh, whoops, it's like 32 max, uh, 12 continuous. But I've had it 1500, 1600, no problem with a kilowatt meter. So, what we got here is this is my charge controller it will do 12 volts at 30 amps um, it'll do uh, gel or lead acid traditional batteries and you can now right now the orange light here sorry about the uh, the orange light at the top is the oops is the charge light that means that the Sun is currently uh, charging the battery bank and it's automated totally I don't use this any this is old phone stuff I don't use it anymore so this is charge um, what I can do is press the test button you can see the lights of the batteries uh, they never totally top off it's a cloudy day today I've used it for a couple hours so it will uh, you know drain down a bit so three 100 watt panels and um, they have the newer style MC4 connections uh, in parallel. Um, so once it hits here, this will regulate the batteries come in here. Same wire. That wire runs down across my bank, um, goes down, and it's fused. So everybody's like, oh, you don't have any fuses on there. I have max fuses. You can see extra ones right here I have some extra maxi fuses um, right now this I believe is a hundred amp fuse in here um, so the batteries go that goes down to the batteries um, there are 12 of them they are also in parallel battery one is here in the corner you can see there's the maxi fuse um, this hard wire right here is actually or no, I'm sorry, the solar comes in, so that's the solar positive. The negative goes here, you can see the wire coming in. Okay, so the quick clamps are the inverter power, and there is a UPS underneath of that. Um, what do I use the charger for? Well, what I did was on the back of this inverter, there are these, these uh, cap screws where you can screw in. So I put eye hooks on the bottom of the, of the of wires that I ran from the inverter and wired into there so that is still fused and it's separated from the battery if need be uh, you can see the 100 amp maxi fuse on that power cable uh, the solar is also fused in two spots there are 30 amp fuses fuse here mm. you can see it here there is another one on the other side where the banks come together. Um, I'm using a uh, four aug wire for the batteries in between and two aug wire or otherwise known as welding cable pretty much uh, for the main tie-ins battery to battery for the pack to pack so you'll notice the positive and negative on this last cell here will run up to the positive and negative of this cell here is the thicker wire coming in um, I did not do fuses in between each cell that's going to be in the future it's just a lot of work trying to find maxi fuses that will do that thick of wire they will do the six which is this but not the four or the two uh, I'll have to go to an industrial application CSB actually 
It says the S3, but it's a CSB battery. Here, let's get a shot of that. There you go, CS3. They are 75 amp hours each. So I have a total 900 amp hours. So it holds a lot of current. Um, so if you do the amp calculations, well, amp hour calculations, if I am using this small inverter, which I use 99% of the time, um, it's 750 watt. Or, um, I'll turn it on and show you. So we'll get a good shot right over top here. Okay. Load right now on the batteries is 13 volts, which is their almost full charge. They run at about 13.5 when fully charged and it's a cloudy day so the sun's not doing much to keep up with the load but if you take my 75 amp hour batteries and I have 12 of them so that's 900 amp hours of current if you do the math if I run this inverter at 500 watts which I never exceed it you can see right now I'm not even hitting the load the entertainment system's on um, let me turn the TV on that's the biggest draw of current. There you go. TV's on. And you can see I'm not even at 25%. So if you do the math, I average about 350 watts, um, which draws about 29 amps over 12 volts. That's maximum, right? So doing the math to get how you get your amps is you take your amps equal your watts divided by your voltage now stereos on TVs on all of your game systems are powered up 750 watt max of this I'm using just shy of 50 percent focus there we go just shy of 50 percent now it's dropping again okay anyway what happened? Oh, the TV went to sleep mode because there was no input signal. So, let me kick this off. Um, so, if I ran that inverter, amps equals watts divided by voltage. So you can see I was doing my calculations based on what I use. So, for 350 watts, I'm using about 29 amps. This is maximum draw, 541 thousand eighty three so if I'm running that thing at max when the power's out and I'll show you how I do that I still got a really long time these are 20 hour batteries meaning their calculations are done on 20 hours normal batteries are done by tens so when you do your math you factor in the 20 hour application for your amp hourage Basically, I can run for about 18 hours on these batteries. Decent load around 500 watts. Um, it fluctuates, it goes up and down depending. How do I do that? Well, let's pretend that the power's out, right? Here's my, here's my circuit breaker, right? Right next to my circuit breaker, there's an outlet. Like this. This outlet right here. Okay, so what I do is, if the power is out, I will turn off the main breaker. Why? Because what I'm about to do, you should not do unless you know exactly what you're doing. So, on any inverter, as you know, it's DC to AC. The inverter converts the current, let's just get a shot in of this, from DC voltage to AC. If my power was out, I have what's called a suicide cable, which is basically two male ends. It is an extension cord that's probably like 15 feet long that has been cut, soldered together, heat shrank, and electrical taped just for safety. Why would you need two of these? Well, if you've ever ran a generator without the hookup in your house, you plug one end into there, and you plug another end into the outlet, right? right into the outlet boop with the main off I'm not gonna do it right now because the power's not out with the main off what I do is I turn off different things and you can see mine um, is pretty clearly labeled it's all in ink 
I'll turn off range, air conditioner, furnace, I'll leave the garage on, uh, garage freezer, I leave that on, kitchen GFI, now I turn all these off. Why would you turn them off? Because what happens is when you energize your inverter, it's going to power that outlet, right, on well, my case, because that outlet is directly on. Anything on that circuit will instantly come on because it's receiving power, but that power is also back feeding your, your panel. Now, what's going to happen is, as you kick on different breakers, the load in your house is going to increase. Mainly, you want to go around and flick everything off, unplug TVs and Xboxes, Playstations, things that don't need to be on. We're thinking dire straits here, right? We just need some power for lighting, whatever. So you can do that. You can flip different breakers on, and your inverter will feed those outlets in your home and if you have all LED lights like me you can get a lot of runtime because you're not drawing a lot of current using it just for lighting would be ideal but sometimes you're gonna wanna watch television or you might want a hot water heater to come on and we uh, we ran for three days without power and you know the sun charged it was a snowstorm so cleaning off solar panels in the winter time if you've ever had to do that is not an easy task but that's my solar setup it's a uh, pretty simple oh oh yeah the battery tender um this is an automated battery charger 2 6 and 12 amp um, sometimes if my if I'm using the system and my panels may not be at their best and I'm not getting a lot of sun and the batteries aren't charging fully and I know something big's coming like a snowstorm or a thunderstorm or something bad and I want to make sure I got power I'll plug that in this is for the UPS down here for the internet and everything um, but I will plug the the charger in it's automated I'll just let it charge um, it's all plastic so if you're wondering why it's sitting on top of the positives it's not it's in the middle and it's all plastic anyway even the red is not metal it's plastic um, I thought it was some cool heat sink. It's not. It has a fan on each side for inlet outlet. But I'll top the batteries off with that. Um, just to make sure they're full. It's totally automatic. It'll shut off when it's full and it'll say full F-U-L. But it works. It works well. It's hardwired into the back of the 750 inverter which is fused. Um, the batteries are fused on the main lines. The solar input is fused and the other inverter on that line is on a 30 amp fuse. Um, they are heavy as hell though. They're about 45 pounds each. Um, they are lead acid. They are sealed. Um, you do not need to add anything to them. I think the CSBs they have a nominal usage of 10 years if properly maintained. Um, the part number on these is CSB EVX 12650 and it's a sealed lead acid AGM battery they're 12 volt 75 amp hour they weigh let's see oh I'm wrong they are heavier than it they're 49.1 pounds each um, I'm just getting this information on the uh, batteryclerk.com you can look up the uh, the parts if you want yourself they're really good batteries there are larger capacity batteries now but that's my solar setup guys I hope you get an idea of what you can do uh, this is just hobbyist level stuff nothing major but I hope it helps you so thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos of stuff that I do and weird stuff and uh, servers and games and everything so hey thanks for watching thanks for your support and I'll answer any questions online within a day take care